Hi everybody, Jean-Francois Morin speaking from Kamouraska, province of Quebec, Canada. Following up on a situation uh, reported earlier on YouTube, end of January 2013, which was the failure of our tower uh, in very high winds, and uh, that resulted in the loss of our 800 watts Missouri wind and solar turbine, a total loss as you could see, and um, since then we've rebuilt uh, the tower we now have a 65 feet tilt up tower with a super dual missouri wind and solar uh, turbine the general a 2000 watts turbine so a tilt up tower uh, as you can see the uh, basis is in concrete there are five bases 36 by 36 inches 48 inches deep the um, bottom, the bottom plate is uh, three quarters of an inch thick. The side plates half an inch, and the pipe is the regular Schedule 10 uh, four inch pipe. The wiring, the rundown uh, off from the tower is uh, eight uh, AWG cable, uh, and uh, you can see it's uh, structurally grounded. Also, it's bolted, so there's uh, no way anything could uh, throw that down. Throw that down. Uh, hopefully, what you're looking at now is the uh, gin pole, which is uh, 22 feet long. It um, uh, attaches to uh, one of the concrete bases uh, with the uh, a five eighth of an inch turnbuckle. You see the uh, turnbuckles also for the guy wires. Uh, the top wires top wire is five sixteenths of an inch. The uh, middle and bottom one are three sixteen sixteenths of an inch. And uh, I put a lock there to prevent uh, anybody from tampering. And uh, in the box, there's the uh, winch uh, to um, lower uh, and uh, raise the tower. So it's a 3,000 pound uh, winch, which is enough to do the job. It's uh, a 12 volt DC winch. The little brown block. There are three of them. Are for um, the, to, to so that the tower is supported when it's coming down. Here you see the rod, which is uh, at the bottom. The, the is at an angle of 55 degrees, and um, I have locks there also to prevent anybody from uh, playing with the uh, turnbuckles. So that's where the uh, top of the tower actually rests uh, when the uh, turbine, uh, when the tower is down. So on the left you have the shack where uh, on top of it there's a spot which illuminates the top of the, uh, the wind turbine. And um, there you see the uh, turbine itself with the brand new Falcon Mac 4 blades which are the 80 inch um, 80 inch uh, model very efficient I'm very happy with these That's a view from the inside of the house where I sometimes bring my computer and work.
So when I look at the window, that's what I see. The equipment, so you see the, the two sets of three black wires at the right, that's where the electricity comes in uh, from the turbine, and it's, uh, uh, that's the Outback uh, JVFX 3524, my voltmeter and app meter, the Mate 3, which is the uh, communications module for the uh, inverter, my battery pack, uh, 24 volt, uh, four six volt batteries connected in series. At the bottom, my uh, battery charger, and um, that's my uh, charge controller, uh, which is set for a very high voltage in the dump load, and the main electrical panel, and to the right, the uh, emergency sub panel. So that's uh, the voltmeter uh, in the blue, it indicates the voltage of the battery bank, and in red, the amp meter. Uh, which um, measures uh, the amperage uh, uh, from the turbine uh, on the DC side. So uh, that, that reading is taken in winds um, ranging from um, 15 to 35 uh, miles per hour in uh, an air temperature which is about 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So you see that that's uh, very good results actually. I would say that uh, on average um, uh, when winds at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit uh, are at uh, 20 miles per hour I, I I have more or less 20 amps and at 30 miles per hour I have more or less 30 amps as a rule of thumb. My uh, cell point is at 25.2 uh, uh, on the mate. It, it's a grid tie system that I have. So whatever is in excess of 25.2 volts is uh, fed back uh, on the grid and uh, credited uh, by the utility. So that's the system that we set up. So thanks for watching. This is the end. Uh, more to come eventually. Thank you.